I am in too great doubt to rule. To prepare or to let be. To prepare for war, which is only guessed. Train craftsmen and tillers in the midst of peace for blood spilling in battle. Put iron in the hands of greedy captains who will love only conquest and count the slain as their glory. Will they say to God, at least your enemies were amongst them? Or to fold hands while friends die unjustly? Let men live in blind peace until the ravisher is at the gate? What then will they do? Match naked hands against iron and die in vain? Or flee, leaving the cries of women behind them? Will they say to God, At least I spilled no blood? Either way may lead to evil. What worth is choice? children, did I? Are you sure you're all right? Oh, yes, I'll be fine. Uh, I, I'm sorry I woke you. Uh, uh, please, go back to sleep, little one. Good night, John. Good night, Edith. ignorant of tragic legend and history, who have heard of heroes, and indeed seen them, who have yet been caught by the fascination of the word. Good evening, uh, Mr. Token. Uh, ah, good evening, Mr. Uh, Fletcher. Uh, I say, are, are you all right? You look pale. Uh, Oast walk over your grave. <laughs> I'm fine. Just a bit of a hard ride is all. Oh. <laughs> well, I... Good night, Mr. Fletcher. Uh, good night, Mr. Token. Death can make us loathsome, helpless.
Where are you, John? Ah. In far-off lands, filled with dragons, elves, and mighty heroes. It's been a while since I've seen you working on your mythology. I had a strange night and felt a sudden urge to open it up again. Nightmares? I get them too, John. <clears throat> there isn't a man who came back who doesn't. We may have come back alive, but uh, not before something inside each of us was killed. Hey, come back here! What is it, John? A child just ran off with my bag. Bring me back my bag this instant! There are things in it that are very valuable to me! Well, I should hope so, or I wouldn't have bothered taking it. Not behind there. I'm not there either. Look! You may keep the bag if you just give me the notebook. Oh, I would love to give it to Reed. Who are you? I am he that walks unseen. So I can well believe, but that is hardly your usual name. I come from Underhill, and over the hills and under the hills, my paths have led, and through the air. I am the clue finder, the web cutter, the stinging fly. I was chosen for a lucky number. Lovely titles, but lucky numbers don't always come off. I am he that... Oh, nice try, but I shall bid you farewell. But don't worry, we shall see each other again. Wait! Give me back my notebook! Ow! John! John! Did you catch my little blighter? No. Oh, damn shame. Oh, come on. I'll buy you a drink. Waking me up. Oh. Well, that's not very nice of them, is it? Can you make them go away? <sighs> Don't you worry now. Daddy's here, and we've got the magic candle. Check to see if the coast is clear. Mm. Seems that some goblins have found their way into the house. Can you make them go away? I'm afraid I can't, Chris. But you can. I'm too scared. It's all right. There's nothing wrong with being scared. It's what we do when we are scared that matters. Don't worry. I'm right here for you, and I always will be. Goblins! This is our house! You have to go to someone else! Well done, son! What's going on? What time is it, Daddy? Why is everyone up at this hour? Me and Daddy scared off the goblins. Oh, well, are all the goblins gone now? Oh, yes. Good. Then, everyone back into bed. Come on, come on. Jeff, what are you doing, John? What is it, dear? I thought I saw a ghost. You just got rid of goblins. One monster at a time, dear.
Hello again. Thief, where are you? Staying out of sight. This place is much too exposed for my liking. Let's go somewhere more private, where we can talk in peace. Come on. Why do you keep having me run through the... Really? There's no reason to shout. Go on and have a seat. I hope you don't mind if I eat. I'm starving. Would you like some? What? Oh, uh, sure. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, it's really just some notes and ideas. Seems like a bit more than that to me. There's an entire history here. Peoples, places, events. It's unfortunate that it's not finished. However, I would like to know what the scribbles are about. The scribbles? What, what scribbles? These scribbles. No, those aren't scribbles. They're language. Not like any language I've seen. Well, it's... Uh, it's a fairy language. I'm a philologist. I study language. So it's just some silly made up thing. It's not silly. Or made up. Isn't it? Look, I... Just give me back my notebook. Not just yet. Where are you going? You're never going to give me back my things, are you? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your... Uh, Party? I was chasing, um... Well, I will be going now. Magovan and John Tolkien. An Naganin. Tologovano ven mad soga. Ven dui easton inifkin. Leon vanya. Do vinya van. Met gelir. Evel. Ortho dul. Met mel, las lame no lie. Club Barovian Society. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, poetry, John. Truly. Yes, yes. I, I, I'm fascinated by the language of poetry and the poetry of language. Well, I imagine that from this point on we shall not want for fairy prose. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. I will write about fairies and of the beauty of creation in all things natural. But I will also write about mighty heroes and great battles. Oh. Careful now. And let us not forget that light and goodness does not exist without the contrast of darkness and evil. And what greater form of evil exists than the awesome might and fearsome majesty of the dragon? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, you see, for my money, Jack Hobbs is the best batsman. Oh, uh, cricket because... again, must we always yes, talk? I know you're an Everton man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I say. Uh, good morning. Oh, what time is it? Time, um, 10.24 by my watch. Oh, damn. Hold on. Good morning. Good morning. Sweetie, 10 minutes until supper's ready. All right, dear. I'll be right there. this since I was in school. <laughs> You're an exceedingly interesting man, John, and I'm looking forward to reading your book on Lost Tales. Return it to me and I will finish it. I'm afraid I can't do that just yet. Why not? You're still being held back by the past. You're alive. Stop trying to write for a dead man. What do you know about it? What right do you have to tell me what I need to do? I demand you give me back my book at once. You're a thief! A no-good, dirty little thief! Fine! Keep what you stole! I don't need it! My pages. The wind took them. Come on, old boy, let's get you out of there. It's a damn shame. Why are you all wet? I decided to go for a swim. take the children to Bournemouth tomorrow. Take a long weekend. I think it would be good for all of us. Yes. I think you might be right. happen to see a very short man come in. We're a country of short men. No, no. This man's drink is on me. I'll have one myself. It's very generous of you, sir. Well, you look like a good man. Being fine. Excuse me? Shh, keep your voice down. He's been telling you since you left your hotel. I've been keeping an eye on you, Mr. Tolkien, just in case of this very situation. Carefully glance behind me at the man in the corner. Hmm. 
my god. He's a servant of the enemy. I'm gonna need to get you out of here. I'll create a diversion. You get out. And, uh, commotion. What commotion? Wait! How are we tonight? Oh, yes, yes. Very Excuse good. Me. Very good. Oh. Oh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. There is an inn of old renown Where they brew a beer so brown Moon came rolling down the hill One heaven's day night to drink his fill On a three-string fiddle there Played the ostler's cat so fair A horned cow that night was seen To dance a jig upon the green Here, John. Jeff. Jeff, I'm. I'm so sorry. Sorry, I, I couldn't. So, who are you now? Forgive me. You just saved my life and I'm, I'm being rude. Indeed I did. And yes, you are. But you've had a rather exciting night, so 
I won't hold it against you. They all died. Tom, Rob, Jeff, they all died and yet I'm still here. Why? We were going to do such great things together. We had so many plans. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Jeff my wanted My dear to... fellow, my dear fellow. There are no supposed to do's in life. All we have to decide is what it is we want to do with the time that has been given to us. Perhaps you should stop trying so hard to say the things you think you need to say and start trying to find the things you want to say. You sound like a small acquaintance of mine. A voice you should consider listening to. It's gone for now. It should be safe for you to return to your hotel, Mr. Tolkien. We must go. We'll be late. I'm never late. Thank you. Thank you both. Till next time, John. Death can make us loathsome and helpless. Dear John, my chief consolation is that if I am scuppered tonight, I am off on duty in a few minutes, there will still be left a member of our great Tea Club Barovian society to voice what I dreamed. For the death of one of its members cannot, I am determined, dissolve the TCBS. Death can make us loathsome and helpless as individuals, but it cannot put an end to the immortal fall discovery I'm going to communicate to Rob before I go off tonight, and do you also write it to Tom? May God bless you, my dear John Ronald, and may you say the things that I have tried to say long after I am not there to say them. If such should be my lot. Yours ever, Jeffrey B. Smith. John. Oh. Hello, Jack. We missed you on campus. Yes, uh, I don't feel very well. Bad dreams. I didn't get any sleep last night. How was Bournemouth? It was... Uh, interesting. Hard to really relax with all the family in tow, I'm sure. I'd fancy a walk. Care to join me? Yes. I think a walk might do me some good. I must say, John, I'm worried about you. It's not like you to miss lectures. I sometimes worry about myself. You've always had a fanciful imagination, John. I'm worried that you have perhaps begun to confuse fantasy with reality. What is the difference between fantasy and reality, Jack? Well, reality is the world as it truly is. And fantasy is how one might imagine it to be. The key difference being that one is not true. Imagination is false. Do you recall those two boys in the park the other day? My bag was still. Hmm? To you and I, they were simply two children hitting each other with sticks, but to them, if only for a brief moment, they were knights. Pretending to be knights. Just as we are pretending to be professors at Oxford. We are professors at Oxford. Uh, what's the difference? 
You, you look at trees and label them just so. For trees are trees and growing is to grow, yet trees are not trees until so named and seen, and never were so named till those had been whose speeches involuted breath unfurled, faint echo and dim picture of the world. He sees no stars who does not see them first. The living silver made that sudden burst of flame like flowers beneath. I see your point, but, uh, uh, John? You want me? Here I am, but let him go. <laughs> 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 Died with Jeff and all the rest. Go, John! Go! found within recorded time. Well done, John. I believe this is yours. Thank you, my friend. There now. Come, Mr. Tolkien. Let's get you home. What exactly happened last night, John? Well, quite a bit, really. I'm not sure if you would believe any of it. It was all quite impossible. Try me. All right, Jack. But we'll have to talk after my lecture. Drinks at the burden, baby? That'll be fine. ground, there lived a hobbit 